looking for their first road win of the season and fourth straight victory overall. The Western Michigan football team traveled to Buffalo last Saturday for a showdown with the Bulls. It would turn out to be the talk of college football as the Broncos and the Bulls tied an FBS record going seven overtimes to determine a winner. The Bronco defense forced Buffalo to kick field goal in the seventh overtime. Then Jarvion Franklin, who finished with 176 yards rushing and four touchdowns, scored from 12 yards out on his 37th carry to give the Broncos a record-breaking 71-68 victory. I'm Robin Huck. Coming up, head coach Tim Lester joins me for all the highlights of an epic battle in Buffalo on week six of Bronco Review. After this timeout, Bronco Review is a production of Western Michigan University Athletics and WMU Media Services and is brought to you in part by Greenleaf Trust, financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. We didn't just break the mold. We made it. And we spelled it L-I-T-E. Because when you invent light beer, you get to spell it however you want. Spelled different because it's brewed different. Part of being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff. But we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Are you considering home improvements? You should consider BlackBerry. BlackBerry has completed several home improvement projects in our neighborhood, so when we were ready for 20 new replacement windows, we called BlackBerry. They completed the project on time and their workmanship was outstanding. Our friends are amazed and we love the transformation of our home both inside and out with our new windows from BlackBerry Home Improvement Specialists. Call today or go to BlackBerrySystems.com. When I grow up, I'm going to redefine pizza. One that will change the history of pizza forever. A pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni. This is my dream, and I can do it. Because my mom and dad said I can accomplish anything. And I will do great things in life. Sorry, kid. It's been done. But my dream... Introducing Little Caesars Extra Most Bestest Pizza. A large pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni for just six bucks. Pizza, pizza. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Auto Group. We know that car buying is a journey, not just a destination. We know that we need to be there each step of the way for you. Through parts, sales, service, through your entire ownership experience. At Maple Hill Auto Group, we look at every customer, not as a single purchase, but rather as a start to a journey that we hope spans generations. Maple Hill Auto Group, for a journey like no other. Wasink has it to Franklin, running right. Jarvion cuts it back into the middle, spins, turns into the end zone! Touchdown, Western Michigan! Jarvion Franklin has won it for the Broncos in the seventh overtime on a powerful run up the middle. Jarvion Franklin with his 37th carry of the game, and it would end the game in seven overtimes and a record-setting performance, most points ever scored in an FBS football game. Western Michigan and Buffalo and the Broncos came out on top. Coach, congratulations on that one. Thank you. It was, uh, it was a long one, but, uh, but a good one. The Broncos and the Bulls going for almost five hours of football and overtime after overtime. And you kind of hitched it up to Jarvion and the offensive line, and they got it done for you. Yeah, you know, we, we were banged up a little bit of running back, and uh, Jarv was, was feeling it. You know, he wasn't getting tired, and we just kept feeding him. All right, here we go. Western Michigan and Buffalo. This is a, an improved Bulls team. A lot of Bronco fans made their way to Buffalo to watch this one, and uh, it's a great day, and uh, there was a lot going on. Yeah, you know, it was their homecoming. They had a, a big concert before the game, and, and uh, the atmosphere was good. Here come the Broncos out of the tunnel, and little did you know at that point it was going to be a long one here. The third play from scrimmage, you take it to the house with Levante Bellamy. You had that run, and now you're going to see him go all the way for a touchdown up the left sideline, and Western Michigan was on top. Yeah, Levante had a, had a great game. He only had 11 touches, but had over 100 yards and 11 touches, and, and uh, as he gets more and more healthy, he's going to be more and more dangerous. Here's another look at it, and he's got a step that most players don't have, and once he gets in the clear, they're not going to catch him. No, he's our fastest player, and... Uh, 
Yeah, we got a lot of fast players, but he's definitely our fastest kid. And it's fun to see him get healthy. You like to get him out early and get him those touches early in the game and then bring in uh, guys like Jarvion and Jamari. Yeah, you know, with his, his injury, it's just one of those things that, that it, it's getting stronger as he goes. So it lasts about a quarter, two quarters before he gets tightened up. So uh, we're just using We can get him fresh before the game and use him for as long as we can and then let the, let the big boys uh, eat. Big hit on special teams by Alex Grace. And then on the very first play for Buffalo, you get beat, but Sam Beal stays with it and forces a fumble. And here comes Stephen Claiborne the other way. Yeah, Sam Sam bit on a, on a little out and up. And uh, it was great effort by him to, to cause that fumble and uh, and shoot a, what it could have been a terrible play turned into a great uh, momentum swing for us. So now you're right back in the plus end of the field and you go to work here on the ground. Yeah, you know, we were just trying to establish that run game, you know, and. Uh, you know, move, move around a little bit. John, I thought, did pretty well early on and made one bad mistake. That was a slide, which is my favorite thing he's ever done. This was an unbelievable kick into a harsh wind. I know you can't see the wind up there, but it was it was a tough wind that he just kicked that into. 44 yards with an angle and a swirling breeze, and he got it done. And now your defense goes back to work. And you did a great job stopping their run. They really couldn't run the football. Yeah, it was like 36 carries for 80 yards or something like that. I mean, it was a really impressive uh, job by our team because that was their strength coming in. You know, you go in there and you know you're going to stop the run and make, make that guy throw it. And he did a great job throwing it, but that was the plan going in. John Washington did a nice job. Their quarterback was really <laughs> incredible. He's a junior college kid from California, a sophomore who was the backup at Buffalo. And, wow, he had uh, quite a day. Yeah, if he keeps throwing it like that, I don't know how much longer he'll be the backup. Uh, but he, he did. He threw the ball. We, we let him get too comfortable, and we made some misreads that we got to get fixed. But when we played man coverage. He had some big-time throws, some big-time NFL-type throws, and uh, it was impressive to watch him. Here's There's a, a nice throw by John Wassing. He's getting better and better, Coach. He, he threw five touchdown passes in this game. <laughs> he did. He's getting more and more comfortable every time he's out there. And, uh, and being involved in the run game and the pass game and, and kind of running the show. And he's nice and calm and, and doing a great job. Levante with another run, and uh, here you go uh, on the uh, quick out. And the ball was on the ground, but you come up with it. Yeah, you know, Ricci's got to be smart. The one thing you, they don't realize when they get out there is when you go back in, you're going back in towards the linebackers. Those are the Spillanes and the Asante Browns of the world. You do not want to go back in there, and, and he took a pretty good shot. Luckily, we got on top of it. They're trying to run the football on your defense, but they're just not able to get it done. So they go to the air almost exclusively, and they almost pulled it out. Yeah, you know, like we said, going in, you know, we're going to make this, this backup quarterback beat us. And you know what? He darn near did. I mean, he played a great game. and. And uh, luck, luckily for us, you know, we kept playing and playing and playing, and we're able to outlast them in the end. We we made mistakes early. I mean, we had two turnovers in the first half, which can't happen, and uh, and we we let them have some easy touchdowns, and that's something we got to get fixed. There's one to uh, D. Eskridge, a wide open up the sideline, and John finds him for a 48 yard touchdown. Yeah, we you know we had the RPOs going, we had the screens going, which opens up the screen and goes, you know, and uh, and it was good. Once you get one thing going, it normally opens up something else for you. And uh, Coach Johns does a, a phenomenal job of, of using, seeing that from upstairs and making those calls. All right, Buffalo goes back to work and. They used a lot of uh, schemes to keep their quarterback clean. You weren't able to get to him. Yeah, they'd watched the Ball State game, so they they had seen what uh, what our defense can do. Uh, if, you, if you're going to sit back there and pat the ball, you're going to get hit. And I thought they did. The coaches did a great job of coming up with schemes that were going to keep him clean. Here's Donnie Ernsberg, who was a key factor in this game, catching the ball and uh, blocking as he always does. Yeah, I mean, he had a career day last week, and he's getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And, you know, I thought our, we hadn't really run a bunch of screens coming into this game. I thought Coach Johns did a great job of including the screens in our game plan, and, and Jarv scored on one, and, and uh, so it's, it's, it's exciting. So the Broncos on top of the half. We'll come back and look at the second half highlights next on Bronco Review. You trust Dunchy Body and Frame for all your collision repair work, but they offer so much more, like paintless dent repair, brakes and wheel alignment, and perfect paint matching. Dunchy also works with all insurance companies to make sure your vehicle is restored to pre-accident condition. So for personal service and high-quality workmanship, call Dunchy Body and Frame at 375-2100 or visit their website, dunchybody.com. Dunchy Body and Frame, part of your community since 1973. Whether it's your knee, back, or wrist, a small pain can be a big problem that affects everything you do. Ascension Care Teams at Borges take the time to listen because listening to you helps us see your whole picture. More conversation, more back and forth, more questions and answers. 
That's what helps us understand all aspects of you and your life. Find an orthopedic doctor who is right for you at Borges.com slash orthopedics. The people who accomplish so much are always striving to do even more. Now, with our help, they will. It's time for more. At Galesburg Ford, we're getting geared out for fall. So if your goal is to be driving a new car, rush on down to Galesburg Ford. You can't afford to pass up these great deals on a new car or truck at Galesburg Ford. New 2018 models are arriving daily. Come out and visit us at Galesburg Ford. We're located one mile north of I-94, exit 85, halfway between Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. When it comes to your next vehicle, our team has you covered at Galesburg Ford. Not too far for your next car. Using your home isn't easy. This is where your kids will draw on the walls, where the people you love will gather to laugh and cry. It's a big decision, which is why choosing your mortgage partner should be easy. With low rates and quick turnaround, Arbor Financial Credit Union can create a customized mortgage solution that is right for you. Visit us at arborfcu.org to find out more. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Eskridge wide right. Odell comes in motion. Play fake, Wassing back to throw. Throws into the end zone for Ertzberger. Touchdown, Western Michigan. Donnie Ertzberger. Pretty tight game at halftime. The Broncos would expand on their lead in the second half. One of those touchdowns, Donnie Ernsberger has become an integral part of the offense, Coach. Yeah, you know, he's an extremely athletic. Everyone knows he can block, you know, but he's a great athlete with great hands. He's had two really good weeks, and we're continuing to expand his role. All right, let's go back to UB Stadium in Buffalo. Second half highlights of what would be a record-setting night in Buffalo. And uh, the marching band on hand for their homecoming game, and here you go to work on defense to start the second half. Yeah, you know, we gave them the win in the third quarter. We, we figured in the fourth, it was a close game. We wanted to have the win in the fourth quarter. And, uh, you know, I thought our defense did a great job in the third quarter. They didn't score in the third quarter. Uh, we scored a touchdown, and uh, it was the fourth quarter, really, where we struggled. But our third quarter, we came out great out of the half. And uh, we just got ahead to do a better job, and they missed a field goal here. And, and uh, we great start because then the offense goes down and scores, and you feel pretty good about your, your momentum there. We just have to finish it off so we don't have to do s seven overtimes to, uh, to finish it off. Here's Jarvion going to work, and he was the man in the second half. Yeah, and he knew that going in. That was, you know, by design, and, and, uh, and he did a great job being physical the whole time. And Our pass game kept getting stronger as we went, and, you know, when, once you get the screens and the sh deep passes and the short passes and our running game, I mean, it, when it all comes together, uh, you know, defenses makes it tough. Jarvion is an excellent pass receiver, and there you see it. Uh, he was wide open and took it to the house. Yeah, he has great ball skills. He can do a lot of things in the pass game, and, and, uh, and obviously he pros well, and, and everyone knows he can run it. So there are special teams. They've been, they've been solid since, since the start. Number one or two in all of the special teams categories, the Western Michigan Special Teams Unit, and here's good coverage by Obi Jackson. Yeah, you know, we had, we had a bunch of, we got banged up. You know, there's no secret about that. Our corners both got banged up, and, and uh, so it's been, uh, you know, Obi, Obi's had to play a lot. He, he had a lot of good plays in the game, had a couple, uh, had one pass interference call, but you know, he's going to be a great player. He's got a huge future. He's really athletic, and we're, we're happy with him. Spillane shutting down the run game there. Now you guys go back to work, and here's Levante on a little screen pass. Yeah, I was proud that he made it to the second, you know, made it to the second half before he started getting tightened up because his speed really does change. You know, had to have his speed and Jarvin's toughness uh, next to each other. And Jamari's toughness is, is, a, is a great combination. All right, Buffalo mounts a second half uh, comeback here after trailing for much of the game, but they have to do it through the air because you're continuing to shut down their run, and they came in as a running team, really. That was what they were known for, and uh, you know, luckily we. Uh, did a good job of making them be one, you know, one-sided, and they'd have to be really good to do it, and, and they did. They did a great job of getting back in this game, and and uh, and you got to give them credit. And luckily, we, we stuck with it, didn't get our heads down, and kept playing. Derek Mitchell hit some bombs uh, uh, with the punt <laughs> game, and uh, here goes their running game, and uh, the Broncos getting it stopped. Yeah, you know, I, I I think the whole game long we were dialed. They they didn't stop attempting to run. 
You know, they kept, they kept, here's a great run by John. He did a great job getting us out of trouble. Only a couple times. I don't want him running a ton. But uh, he's a really athletic kid, and, and uh, he adds to our run game, you know. You know, kind of lost in Jarvion's performance was John's performance. Five touchdown passes in this game. Five, and he was he was 23 of 29. His completion percentage was off the charts, and he, and he also had a couple drops. So, uh, you know, he's, he's getting to the point where he's really comfortable putting the ball. Here's the same ball that he underthrew at USC right there. Uh, that we didn't get a touchdown on that we could have used that, that we came back to the play four five weeks later and, and he hit it which was fun to watch. That's a bootleg and he throws back for the tight end. It's a thing of beauty when it works. It is and we had it we had it against USC. He just underthrew it a little bit in his first game and now he's in his sixth game. He's much calmer. Uh, great tackle uh, right there and and, um, and he's just he's being more consistent. You know every time he's out there he's, he's playing a little bit better and it's been fun. It's been fun to watch him grow every single week a little bit. You know. There, Number 83, Johnson, their wide receiver, he is a man. He, yeah. He's a good player. We knew he was a good player. We, I mean, he's bigger than I thought. When, you know, a lot of times when they say 6'2", that means they're six foot. You know, but they, they don't lie. He was all of 6'2", and he was long, and uh, Beal's kind of our long corner, and he got hurt on play three of the first quarter. So, uh, we, you know, we had shorter guys out there for him, and they made us pay for that a little bit. All right, final second. You moved it into the plus side of the field and gave your field goal kicker a shot. Yeah, you know, it was just one of those, can we give Josh a chance to put his leg behind one? He's got a really strong leg, and unfortunately we weren't able to, fit, to follow through on it, and uh, so to overtime we went. Zero's on the clock. We go to overtime. Those highlights are next on Bronco Review. Maple Hill is proud to be a Subaru dealer. Subaru, it is like no other. Because of the 35 miles per gallon that you get in the summer and the all-wheel drive in the winter, the five-star crash test ratings, the recommendations year after year from the best consumer magazines out there. Own it and you'll say, I love my Subaru. At Maple Hill Subaru, it is a journey like no other. A part of being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff. But we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Does your home need a facelift? You should call BlackBerry. For over 35 years, BlackBerry's been improving the look of homes throughout West Michigan with new roofing and siding. Right now, save 50% off the installation of new roofing and siding from BlackBerry, featuring the Owens Coring Duration Shingle and Mastic Vinyl Siding. 50% off installation of roofing and siding and pay no interest for 18 months. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. Uverse gives you a whole bunch of on-demand TV shows and movies. Let's get started. Well, how many is a whole bunch? As many as Xfinity? I swear you're gonna love it. That didn't really answer my question. Over 5,000 on demand. Well, Xfinity On Demand gives us over 30,000. We'll set it up for you. Don't settle for you, Verse. Get over five times more on-demand TV shows and movies on TV with Xfinity from Comcast. Caesars has introduced the extra most bestest pizza, a large pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni for six bucks. This affects the pizza economy, causing demand for Little Caesars to skyrocket and employment to enter a pizza boom. Where will Little Caesars get all these new employees? Oh, that's where. Get the new Little Caesars Extra Most Bestest Pizza, a large pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni for just six bucks. Pizza, pizza. Watson in motion, and they're gonna throw back to the quarterback. Watson, touchdown Western Michigan! Keyshawn Watson came on the end around and then throws it back to the quarterback, Wasink, for six. John Wasink with his second receiving touchdown of the season from Keyshawn Watson. That's number 13 throwing the football, Coach. Um, yeah, I'm proud to see that number. My high school, he's, he's two for two with two touchdowns. People are thinking, why, why don't I play him more, you know? John Wasink leads the nation in touchdown receptions by a quarterback. <laughs> and now the Broncos are in overtime, and this thing would turn into an epic back-and-forth battle between the Bulls and the Broncos. Who would outlast the other? And 
you had several chances to put it away. We really did. Between between field goals or two-point conversions or stopping two-point conversions, I felt like we were in control most of the game. Uh, you know, that pick right there would have given us a chance. And, and so it was... I really felt like we, we let it get away. We let it. We finally took advantage of it. They had one opportunity in the sixth overtime, and uh, and that's the one thing that uh, we need to do a better job. We can't let it get to the sixth, seventh overtime next time. We need to we need to get on, on after them a little bit earlier. Danny Ernsberger catches a touchdown pass in the overtime, and well, it's a family <laughs> affair at Western Michigan. Uh, that got a lot of attention nationally. <laughs> the sister giving them a hug there, but. Play continues. This game wasn't over, and uh, Jarvion going to work on the ground for you. Yeah, Jarv was. I mean, he got stronger and stronger every time he went. And our offensive line, I got to give them a ton of credit. I mean, they are, they are a special group up front. Jarv gives them all the credit. Uh, both those, both between Jarv, our tight ends, and our O line. Uh, I mean, they won this game for us. You get the touchdown from uh, Watson to Wasink, and then you get a knockdown there. But uh, Buffalo. Keeps finding a way. Broncos get a fumble, and you thought maybe this is this the is spot it. where we put it away. Yeah, I thought so. You know, we tried to run the ball a couple times. We knew when we got the third down, we were going to try to put the ball, uh, you know, where Josh wanted it. And uh, we unfortunately we missed it. We had to keep going. Had to keep going, and we moved along in the overtime. Here was a direct snap to Franklin, who hands it off to Watson, and uh, he takes it in for a two-point conversion. That was technically was supposed to be a pass back to John Watson. or was an option, either pass or run it in, and he had the chance to get it in, and uh, and uh, just, you know, Keyshawn took it himself. Yeah, he went helicopter there in the he end did. zone for the touchdown, and here you go again, back to work to uh, D. Eskridge. Yeah, that was a great decision by John. That was a, a bubble slash screen. He chose to take the bubble, and, and then we always went back to him. We always went back to Jarv, but we didn't want him to totally focus on Jarv. I thought he did a good job of mixing up the run in the pass. Here's a great catch by Keyshawn. Great catch and a wonderful throw on the fade as they hook up uh, this time uh, Wasink to Watson instead of Ooh. Watson to Wasink. And big stop here by the Broncos. Yeah, you know, our defense in the overtime I thought did a good job. We held them to field goal twice. We had a turnover once, you know, and, uh, and then we had – you know, they're the ones that set us up to give a chance to win. Here, that was the play right there, that if he scores, the game's over. That was the one time that if they if they would have made the play, the game would have, we would have lost. And, and Asante made a great play and allowed us to get to this play right here and, and wrap it up. Charvion takes it in from 12 yards out, and the Broncos prevail in overtime, 71-68. to <laughs> Jarvion, the MAC West Division Offensive Player of the Week. Huge game, four touchdowns, and the Broncos win it in the record-setting performance at Buffalo. We'll be back with more Bronco Review now timeout. Staying with a standard checking account isn't much different than stashing your money in a piggy bank. A momentum checking account from Arbor Financial Credit Union is like strapping a rocket to your piggy bank and launching it to higher earnings. With Momentum Checking, the more you use your debit card, the more interest you can earn. Up to 4% APY on balances up to $15,000. Visit arborfcu.org to find out more. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Whether it's your knee, back, or wrist, a small pain can be a big problem that affects everything you do. Ascension Care Teams at Borges take the time to listen because listening to you helps us see your whole picture. More conversation. More back and forth, more questions and answers. That's what helps us understand all aspects of you and your life. Find an orthopedic doctor who is right for you at Borges.com slash orthopedics. At Gales Rick Ford, we're getting geared out for fall. So if your goal is to be driving a new car, rush on down to Galesburg Ford. You can't afford to pass up these great deals on a new car or truck at Galesburg Ford. New 2018 models are arriving daily. Come out and visit us at Galesburg Ford. We're located one mile north of I-94, exit 85, halfway between Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. When it comes to your next vehicle, our team has you covered at Galesburg Ford. Not too far for your next car. Hey, I'm Carter Osterhaus. What do you do when you discover something great? Well, you tell your family and friends about it, right? Well, that's exactly how Lake Michigan Credit Union became the fastest growing credit union in Michigan with some of the best checking account rates in the nation and guaranteed low mortgage rates, word is spreading fast about Lake Michigan Credit Union. Anyone can open an account. So tell your friends, Lake Michigan Credit Union, the best place for your money. Now John back to throw. Throws the fade into the end zone. He's got Keyshawn and he's got it. 
Touchdown, Western Michigan to Keyshawn at the pylon on the left side of the end zone. Keyshawn Watson with another big play in overtime. He's becoming a tremendous receiver, and he's a young guy, too. Yeah, he's got I – mean, we don't have a guy in that room that's a junior or senior. They're all underclassmen, and uh, he's really come on the last couple weeks. He really has. In Western Michigan, now the highest-scoring team in the MAC. You've got uh, the number one offense, and uh, – it took a 71.7 overtime game to do it, but your offense is starting to roll. We've been building. You know, we said that early on, that, that once Coach Johns gets this thing going and these guys start maturing and having confidence with our running game that we know we had, that it's going to be dangerous. And we still got a lot, of, a lot of long way to go, but it's been fun to watch them grow. All right, a seven overtime game got to take a little bit out of your team. Yeah, uh, you know, Devontae Ginwright played 120 plays. You know, the week before against uh, Ball State, our highest player played 64 plays. And, he, you know, we had 16 guys over 100 plays. So, uh, took it easy on Monday. Uh, switched up practice on Tuesday for uh, this upcoming week. So, uh, we're doing – we understand what they did. We're proud of what they did. And we just got to make sure they're ready for next Saturday. Homecoming, 3.30 kickoff at Waldo Stadium Saturday against the Akron Zips. Coach Bowden coming to town. Yeah, you know, they're they're number one in the East right now that Buffalo lost. And, uh, you know, they're on a roll. They got a, a senior quarterback that is always scary when you have a senior quarterback. And and they play solid defense. They got a stud linebacker just like Buffalo. And uh, they keep everything in front of them, make you earn it. So, uh it's going to be a challenge. You know, we just want to get out there. We did so many things that, that are uncharacteristic of us in the last game, uh, although we did find a way to win, which was great. But want to get out there and, and just uh, get back to, to playing our type of football. Good luck on homecoming. Thank you very much. And we'll be back next week with all the highlights of the Western Michigan Akron game on our next Bronco Review. For Coach Lester and our staff, I'm Robin Hook. Thanks for watching. See you next week.